Boys, they cool as shit. My 15 year old is a genius, but he a thug. I like how I get down. I ain't mad. He's smart as shit, but he'll fight a motherfucker at the drop of a hat. That's my kind of shit. My youngest baby, he 11. He like to save the world. And the flowers are pretty. I'm like, I said, I'm a fucking fag. What the? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? He don't want to play no football, no basketball. What the fuck is that about, nigga? Damn, but fuck it. I'm like, okay, that's cool. But he's intelligent as shit and it's scary. When he was in the third grade, he pulled some shit on me, baby. I had to get a nigga brownie points. I wasn't mad at him. I go up to a school one day to pick him up. I'm a surprise and we're going to have mommy and Sunday go to Chuck E. Cheese, have our little time. I get up there. He's standing next to his teacher. She crying. And the whole side of her face is bloodshot red. I said, now what the fuck am I walking into? I said, hey, hey, uh, what's wrong? What's, what's happening? So she got real professional with me. Mrs. Jackson, we have a problem. So I said, well, what's the problem? <laughs> you bitch, don't talk to me like that shit. So she said, well, Shalon hit me in my face with the ball. So I said, Shalon, did you hit her in her face with the ball? He said, yes, mom, I did. I said, oh, okay. But what the fuck happened? Because he wasn't scared. She said, well, it was time to come back in from recess, and he wasn't ready. And, you know, I chased him into the bathroom, and he hit me with the soccer ball, and now I'm having blurred vision. I said, this bitch gonna try to sue me. I should hit in her other motherfucking eye and make a run for her. So I'm looking, I said, Shalon, did you, did you do that? He said, yes, I did. Not flinching at all. I said, well, you know, when we get home, I'm going to whip your ass, right? He said, yes. I know that. So now I'm getting nervous like this nigga's crazy. Because he ain't flinching. So we get home and I'm like, fuck it. You ain't scared. You want to play that role with me? Go in the room, take off all your motherfucking clothes, get in the shower, and don't dry your ass off. I'm going to whip your ass. Give me five minutes so I can get myself together. Go in my room. I'm getting myself pumped up to fuck him up. I come back with the thickest belt. I said, lay on your stomach. He said, hey, mom, before you beat me, I need to tell you something. I said, what? He said, I know what I did was wrong, but these voices. I said, what? The, these voices be telling me, do something bad, do something bad. I said, what, what they be saying? Cause now I'm scared of shit like this might be a little Jeffrey Dahmer, this nigga might eat me or something. He hand shit telling him to do bad shit. So I go in the room, I call my husband, I'm like, baby, come home. Shalon is hearing voices and they tell him to do bad shit and I'm scared. So Mark comes home, rush home, he go in the room there and there's about two hours. I don't hear shit. Mark come out the room and say, look, he hearing some motherfucking body. So let's lock our door. For this little nigga do something bad to us. Cause I'm scared as shit. So I couldn't whip his ass cause I'm thinking I gotta get him some counseling. And no parent wants to admit the kid is fucked up. So I'm like, okay, let me find him a doctor that can help him with his mind. Cause he hands shit and I'm scared. Didn't whip his ass. So for about two weeks we interviewing doctors. I'm sitting home one day fucked up. Watching the Cartoon Network. I don't never fuck with the Cartoon Network. But the spirit led me this particular day to watch the Cartoon Network. And the Rugrats came on. You know that little evil bitch Angelica? She was telling her parents the same motherfucking story. The voices be telling me to do something bad. Baby, I got in my car and went up to his school and pulled his black ass out of class. I said, I heard them motherfucking voices. And they told me to whip your ass. You slick motherfucker. Baby, I was like, you's a bad nigga, boy. I couldn't be mad at him. Fuck that.